Good morning, this is Chris Cruz and today we'll be playing with some Marabou products. Uh, we have three products here. We have the Marabou sketch markers and we also have the graphics permanent markers. And these come in 24 colors. Uh, the sketch markers come in 12 in this little box. We will be using 91% uh, alcohol, a pipette, and a little container. Save these from the salad dressings at the restaurant, and I put some little alcohol in there. We're gonna work on some Yupo paper, and this happens to be a five by seven, and this little pad has 10 sheets. So if you wanna try it, not sure if you wanna really do this, this is a good way to start and these are not that expensive. Uh, I had started one earlier and didn't really like where I was going with it. So we're gonna do uh, a fix on this little guy here, a girl, whatever. Uh, I have this really pretty pink, it's called uh, Permanent Pink. And this is the uh, sketch markers and I'm gonna put some of that color in the middle here. Kind of like, oh. oh, and I don't know if I introduce you to my little new tool here. It's my little uh, blow dryer. It's, um, it's the smallest little blow dryer. That's what they call it. And you have a USB little piece on the bottom here. So I got this adapter to put on my extension cord because when I do these videos, I don't plug anything into my laptop. I'm working, doing the videos. And it's turned out to be a really handy tool because I can't stand blowing through a straw. It makes me dizzy. So if you don't want to blow through a straw, this is the perfect little toy for you. Okay, so we want to put a little brown in the center of this um, flower and it's called burnt umber but I'm going to use the thick part of my marker because this marker has two sides to it so I'm going to play around and pretend that this is the center of my flower. We also want to put some yellow around the outside here and right now it doesn't look like much right but wait until you see when we put the alcohol in it. And you know what, I have this little marker here that has a uh, black. So I wanna see what happens if I take some of that black and put it right here. Now, let's drop a little drop of alcohol and see what happens. Well, that's three drops, right? but I like the way it's expanding and it's giving me that dark center and it's separating my black with my brown and I'm not gonna tilt um, this paper because I really like the way it's looking. And let's see the yellow. With the yellow, I'm gonna use my little blower and look how cool this is. Let's put a little bit of that over here. And the good thing about alcohol inks is that they dry fast. Turn it around. You want that black mostly in the center, and that's where it's gonna stay. Now, we need some lighter colors in here. So I am going to take some of this really pretty pink and just put it on the outside of my drawing here. And I found this really pretty purple here. This is called, uh, let's see, Pastel Lilac. And it's not doing much. So I think ultramarine blue is my best bet. I'm gonna take the fat end. See it has a sharp edge and a small tip. So I am going to take a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of that 
ultramarine blue and I'm gonna put it on my edges here since this is almost dry let's put a lot of it in here turn it around and with the alcohol that's already on there see how it's moving already let's take some of this orange color this orange color is called chili it's too light this brilliant violet maybe this will work oh yeah look how pretty that looks well that's a pretty color so I am going to put that just next to the blue to give us some darks. And let's see what happens. The alcohol is moving into my blue, see that? But because this is dry and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more, I'm gonna blow dry it. Now the center colors won't move, but we want the outside colors to move. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use some real alcohol inks in the middle to add some of this gold. Uh, Marabou has this um, metallic gold alcohol ink in the litter bottles, and it also has metallic bronze. Uh, I think we should give it a try and put it in there, but in the meantime, let me put some of that alcohol here on the edge. See, you don't need much and it's starting to move. Let me take my blower and just move it around a little bit more. Come really close. And take my little Kleenex tissue paper and just wipe off what you don't want to see. Turn it around. Let's drop another little drop of that purple. Look how pretty it's separating. Let it go a little bit into, oh, that's still moving there a little bit, okay. Yeah, let's give it some little Okay, now we got this little area on the side. Put up one drop, that's all I put, one drop. We got the pink on this side over here. And see when it gets the alcohol on it with this other color, it almost turns into like a peachy color, right? Is that like a peachy color to you? Okay, we got too many tails. So I'm gonna take my paper towel, drip it in a little bit of my alcohol and just wash it out. Nice. That looks really cool. I think we need a little dark in the center. Right, don't you think? It needs a, kind of like a little, little dark right in there. And let me just wipe this edge off. Kind of opens it up a little bit more for the design. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of the dark. Uh, this is black, I believe. Let's see, this is black. Just a tad of the dark black in here. Take the alcohol, there's hardly anything left on this pipette, which is perfect. And I'm gonna move around that black. Kind of 
kind of with a thin little line, see that? See, if you don't put a lot of alcohol in it, it won't move that much, which is good, because we want that dark center right there. See that? And I'm gonna put some of that right in here and let my little brush just move it around. Now remember I said I have some metallic gold and some metallic copper. Well, when you get these little bottles, uh, most of the metallic paints have like a little, uh, I don't know, little ball bearing uh, inside the paints. So make sure that you always shake your bottles until you get a little sound. Hear that? Because if not, uh, your little tips will clog up. So I'm gonna open this up. Whoops. And I'm gonna pour just a drop of that on here let's see what happens oops got sprayed all over and let's see what happens with the copper So this will give it a little shine and just let it dry. What do you think we're done I would I think we're done if you have a nice mat a black mat let me move my alcohol out of the way so we don't get it all over the place take your drawing or your painting your art and look how pretty that looks with a black mat right on top looks like a regular beautiful work of art so give it a try uh, check out my other videos on my YouTube channel and Please subscribe on Chris Cruz Designs. And if you like this video, put a little thumbs up. And I appreciate any comments too. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see me try. And enjoy your uh, permanent markers and uh, sketch markers from Marable. And have a good day.